Hey, it's Wendy at the library. Today I'll be showing you how to make your movable hand. It's all part of our My Awesome Body programs in March. Um, let me turn the camera down and show you what you'll be getting in your kit. Here we go. So, you will be getting a piece of red or orange construction paper. These little um, two-sided foam tapes, um, double adhesive sides, five straws, which you might not use all of them, but they're there, and five pieces um, of yarn. So what you'll be doing when you get your kit is I want you to trace your own hand onto the construction paper. And to do this, we want to show a little bit of our wrist when we, when we trace it. So put your hand a little further in towards the middle, and then once you put it on the paper, I want you to spread your fingers. So make sure you open those up, and then trace it. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go around my hand. So you would trace like this, right up against your fingers and thumbs, all the way down and up. Pretty cool. And then down there. So there we go, there's my hand. With a little bit of my wrist. If you want, you can um, draw on fingernails and you know, the creases at your knuckles, <laughs> just to make it look like your hand. Um, so go ahead, do that, and then cut it out. Um, then once you cut it out, I'll show you with this one. We'll go right ahead to this next step. Um, just cut the whole thing out and hold on to that. Um, after that, you'll turn your hand over, and that's when you're going to peel these little squares off. There we go, like that. And then stick it on whatever place you need to in the hand. And it sticks pretty good. Um, it's pretty good adhesive. And then you pull off this back flap, the top flap, to reveal this side is now an adhesive. So that's what I did. Um, on this hand, I put all of my um, glue squares on. What I did is I tried to figure out where each section of my finger is too, and I put one square in each of those sections in between my knuckles. So there'll be three on each finger, and there'll only be two on your thumb, one, two. And then you're going to have, I drew lines so I could see this long line in between um, where my fingers end, but the palm of my hand. So our fingers are called our phalanges. So these are our same thing as our toes. They're called phalanges and they are sectioned off. And then inside your palm of your hand, you have longer bones. They're called metacarpals. Um, and then you have like eight little bones down here in the wrist and those are just called carpals. So we are going to put straws everywhere, the phalange bones, the metacarpals and the carpals. And these lines that go through the palm, I just put two on each line, even for the thumb. So I know I can stick a straw on top of there. And then two down here at the wrist where I'm gonna put one straw. So I would peel these off. Now that they're on my paper, peel off the little top paper. Oh, there it goes. Here's one. And I'll do this one, two, oh, you'll have lots of these little papers floating around, <laughs> three, so if you want to do just one finger at a time, go ahead and do it, that way you'll feel like you have more control. Um, I've already made one, so I just put my little sticky squares everywhere I know I needed one. And that's where drawing how my fingers might look and drawing these lines, it helps me see the sections. Whoops, that one's right there. So I'm gonna peel these all off. And I will peel off the ones for my metacarpals, those longer bones in my palm. Here we go. And then I'll also be pulling off the ones for the sections. So just 
um, say that I've already done my whole hand. I peel these off and it is ready. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to do a straw for each section, small pieces of straw. And there has to be space between each one so that when your fingers are bending, the pieces that we put the straw to um, represent the phalanges, that they don't touch each other and prevent it from, from touching and being able to curl. So um, this is what I did. I took my pieces. Now when I cut straws, sometimes I go to cut it and you do this and it goes flying. <laughs> So I usually put my scissor where I want it and put a finger on the end and just let it drop in front of me. And these are pretty small. They're not very large. These are for the phalanges, the finger pieces. So you would want to do a whole bunch of these um, for you have four fingers in one thumb, three in each finger and two in the thumb. It totals 14 phalanges in your hand. So when you cut them, you just put them on top of this and we want to make sure that they're facing like a tunnel going this way down. There we go. And I push it on. And then I'll do this little finger. And another one. And another one. So you can see there's space between them. They gap. Yeah. And you're going to want to put them on all of these. And then for the metacarpals, the longer portions, you can actually cut a long piece for the palm and put that right between those two. These double-sided squares are awesome. Um, one of, on the uh, example that I made, I didn't use them, I just had tape. So if for some reason something's not sticking really well, I don't know if you can see the tape on mine. I taped in beyond each portion down, but so you can do that. Um, but so there's a lot of pieces of straw. Here's the one for the. So we're going to do that for every single finger into the metacarpals, and here's the um, the carpals that are in your wrist, and your wrist is actually made up of eight little bones to make your wrist. Of uh, that's called your carpals, your wrist area. Um, we're going to take each piece of string and you'll tie it on the end of the finger, the pointy end. It's a little difficult sometimes to thread this through. Once you get it started in there and then just push a little bit and a little bit and a little bit at a time till you get it to come through. And then tie this one off. This one has a knot in the end. Um, you want to tie it twice at least, and that should hold it pretty good. There we go. If you want to trim a little bit, I do like to trim a little bit. <laughs> and then you take, whoops, take this, follow that, push it aside, and take your end, and now thread it down through each piece of straw. So once you get it started, um, I don't know if you can see really well, I put it in, and then I push a little bit at a time. Oh, there it is, right there. Awesome. And then pull it through all the way. And then we'll do the next one. There we go. And push, oh good, right there. Pull it through. Now this metacarpal's pretty long. <laughs> so we're gonna push it all the way through. Little piece, a little bit, little bit, little bit, and eventually it'll come out the other end. I don't try, ah, there it is, nice. I don't try to push a whole bunch at once because then my yarn got bunched up and it won't go through. And then this one goes through the wrist, the, where the carpals are. There we go. So, And you can see already that as you're holding this and you pull it, it'll make your finger turn up, okay? So you're going to do this to every, um, every phalanges, metacarpals, and carpal. And when you get down to the bottom here, you pull all your strings together, and you have to thread it through that one straw. And if you can see what I did, I took a piece of tape, put all five pieces of yarn together, and taped the end, sort of like on a shoelace, and then I could thread it through the whole thing. So that's the last part of this, is to thread it through, tug it down there we go and then I like to hold it by the wrist and see if I can make the fingers curl up Ooh, I only pulled a couple strands springs 
Um, if I pull one, let's see if I, which finger this is. <gasps> My ring finger. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the thumb. I don't know. Oh, there's my thumb. There it is. So um, so you can play around. I did a peace sign the other day. I found which two pieces of yarn were for these fingers and pulled the other ones down so I could do peace. Um, but that just is showing it. So what we've done is a little bit of the anatomy of a hand. Um, your hand is also made up of muscles and ligaments and tendons and sheaths and the muscles are the things that contract and they cause movement and ligaments it's like a fibrous tissue that helps bind together the bones um, you also have tendons they connect to the muscles in the arm or the hand right to the bone and that allows movement so when you move your muscles those tendons are connecting it to the bone so that now the bone will move with it and there are sheaths. They are these tubular structures that go around parts of your fingers and it protects it and everything. So I have an actual graphic here that I wanted to show you um, because it's pretty cool. I don't know how close up. I'm just going to hold it right there so you can take a moment to look at it. Um, but it shows you your phalanges. That's the bones. Um, the metacarpals are the long ones that are in the palm area. And carpals are down here underneath. It's hidden a little bit <laughs> with the tendons and ligaments and all the stuff that are in here. You can see it mixed in. Uh, blood vessels, muscles. This is actually a picture with the sheaths. They're like, it goes around portions in your, your fingers and your phalanges. So um, it's just a pretty cool, these are tendons. So, you know, you're moving muscles down in your arm that helps your hand move, too. So, it's all connected. It's pretty cool. Um, in addition to all of these, you also have um, arteries and veins in there for your blood flow and some nerves that help your hand have sensation in your hand and fingers. So, um, that is our working hand model. I hope yours comes out great. I think those little sticky squares will help because... Um, then you don't have to worry about the tape coming off. But I hope you have a good time with it. And um, don't forget, we have a, a retired doctor, Roger Gingrich, is going to be meeting here at the library on April 1st. It's on our calendar. So if you'd like to come, bring your models that you've been making. We've made um, the spine and our movable hand and your lungs model. And if you have any of your models that you've made, bring them along, even if you have the blood slime left over. Um, he'd like to see it. We have a few things that we can share that night, but come along. If you have any questions, he'll answer any questions. Have fun, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.